A major setback at a salon after a car crashed into the building. It happened along Monroe Street between Central and Douglas in Toledo. Yeah, this is becoming an epidemic here. Owner says he's waiting for a temporary fix so he can reopen. Action News reporter Tony Guptis has the update on the crash that happened last night. Tony? According to police records, Lee, this happened at about 745 last night. And today, the owner of Studio 329 says he is just thankful no one inside was hurt. This crash cost thousands of dollars in damage to a salon. The owner says it could have been worse. That's where everybody's at. We just thankful that everybody's okay. Doug Keishan runs Studio 329 on Monroe Street between Douglas and Central in Toledo. He and his wife, who runs the attached Cajun A Boutique, have been here for one year. That's after they bought the building and relocated from Doran Reynolds. Last night, Doug says he and his wife were at the Toledo Zoo for a fashion and hair show when at about 7.45, this happened. I was about to go on stage and do my performance with my hair show and um, we finished that up and then the city of Toledo called me and saying, hey, you need to get over here. Um, you got structural damage to your building and we need to go over everything with you. By the time he arrived, Doug says the car had been towed. According to police records, it was seized because the man behind the wheel was driving under suspension. That driver, a 28-year-old man from Montpelier, was taken to the hospital with injuries police describe as non-life-threatening. No one else was involved. The support that we get from the community, um, I'm just thankful and no one was hurt. That's my daughter's work area right there. And she normally works on Sundays, so I'm glad no one was here. That's the main thing. No one got hurt and no one was here. All this stuff is replaceable. Now Doug and the 14 stylists who rent booths here are waiting for contractors to replace the glass in the door so they can reopen. It is a temporary fix until the wall can be replaced and the city signs off on what could be a lengthy and costly cleanup. You can follow Studio 329 on Facebook and Instagram for updates. In the meantime, the attached boutique will be open and the driver is set to appear in Muni Court this upcoming Friday. Lee.